This is always the part where I have to make the camera look, make me look good. I think I have to take my glasses off because... I don't know. Not how I feel. Oh. Yeah, we're in chat box. My two wonderful friends here, uh, please. I'm Anna. No. And I'm Nico. That's okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Fine. So we're going to be talking about chatbots today. And we're going to read and interact with the content listed below to get a sense of how brands and businesses are using chatbots and how we can use them for storytelling. Whoa! Wow. <laughs> so we're all going to log on and chat with Mitsuku. Okay. This is not very iPhone friendly. Okay, guys, I'm just going to give you a little close up. Here we go. Look at that. What do you think about climate change? Can you. Guys, come on. What? Hello? Okay. I said, What do you think about climate change? And she said, The concept that the Earth's atmosphere is slowly heating due to greenhouse effects. That's not what she thinks. Oversimplification, but I'll take it. We're going to do the Insomnibot. So this was created by Casper, you know, the mattress company. Guys, nice, seriously. No Casper, the friendly ghost. So you text this number, you hold it down, and then you send a message. So we're going to just, we're going to message the bot. I said, hey. Hey, friend, hey. They have not responded to me. I said, 1-800-ARE-YOU-SLAPPING? No response. It says extra chatty between 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Does that mean that it only is active during those times? Given this link. A friendly, easy, distracted bot designed to keep you company when you just can't fall asleep. Maybe it's that like means. Thing. Yeah, it's insomnia bot. Let's call it. Oh. Configure your number's voice URL to change this message. Let us know if we can help you in any way during your development. And what? Let's call back to see if it's again. Thanks for the call. No. Nope. That's so scary. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So building a chatbot is a new form of communication, but it has the same old story of information design. A successful chatbot is first of all a good storyteller. One, he can tell you what you want to hear, but at the same time take you information places that you didn't know existed. Oh, like the I got it, I got it. Conversation while still being in control leads you to the end destination of the story and understands that the user came not from boredom but because they want to accomplish something. Honestly true. This I think this speaks more to like stories, games, like interactive chatbot than like, hey I need help with my HelloFresh. Which I talked about in class as being my chatbot experience. Move locations again. Because today I'm indecisive. So I know I talked about looking into a storytelling chatbot. But then I was thinking about the like real things that I need in my life, and really what I need to do is look at online summer courses so I can graduate with both my majors on time, and I know that one of the universities I'm looking at, Southern New Hampshire University, has an online program, so I just clicked onto their website because I was looking at it earlier today, and a chatbot came up, so I was like, you know what, this is very relatable to my life, so this is the one we're going to focus on. And I don't know how much it'll relate to storytelling, but it will help me create the story of my life of graduating on time. So now I have my chatbot open. Trisha and I are talking. Trisha is typing. So this I got referred by, from the chatbot to an actual person. Essentially saying, you have to call this person to get more specifics. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I feel like chatbots are very helpful in specific situations. Like when I used it for HelloFresh, I was canceling my subscription, I guess, and that was really easy because they just were able, they being the internet, the code was able to essentially direct me to a link where I said, yes, I really do want to cancel. And that was, like, I didn't need to talk on the phone with someone about that. So I think in those smaller instances, it can be really helpful, like, also with booking, like, Amtrak tickets, things like that. 
but like for entertainment purposes, I feel like it makes me feel weird to like be communicating with a robe. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm just not familiar with it yet. I don't trust them, but I'm just like, would it, would it just be easier to talk to someone on the phone and just figure this out? I don't know. What is communication coming to? Why don't people want to talk to each other anymore? Okay, thanks for listening.